welcome to my channel guys and welcome to another video of the interview session questions so in this video we will be discussing about three topics that is the access specifier the static method and variables and a code is there we will be discussing about the output for the desired logic so let us start with the access specifiers so what are the various kinds of access specifiers present in java so before that let us discuss what does access specifier mean so access specifiers are the keywords which are used to define the access scope of a method or a class or a variable so up to what extent a class or a method or a variable can be accessed that can be decided by using the different types of access specifiers so in java basically there are four types of access specifiers the public protected default and private so what are the difference between all these four so in public the classes methods or variables whichever are defined as public can be accessed by any class or method suppose we are defining a class or method or variable as a public class or a public method or a public variable then that variable or class or method can be accessed by any of the other class or methods now coming on to the protected access specifier so protected can be accessed by the class of the same package or by the sub class of this class so whenever a method or a class or a variable is protected then that class or variable or method can be accessed only by the class of the same package or by the sub class of this class now coming on to the third access specifier that is default so if we are not denoting any kind of access specifier then by default it is taking the default access specifier so the default access specifier whenever it is used then the method class or variable can be accessible within the package only by default all the classes methods or variables are of default scope unless until we add a specifier like public protected or private the class or the method or variable is called as a default class or a default method or a default variable now coming on to the last access specifier that is private so the private class methods or variables can be accessed within the class only so whenever we are declaring or defining a class method or variable as private then that can be accessed within the class only the scope is within the class only it cannot be used outside the class so this is all about the different kinds of access specifiers present in java now coming on to the next topic that is what is the purpose of static methods and static variables so when these static variables or methods are used we will be discussing about this and after that i will be giving you a example so first the methods or variables defined as static are shared among all the objects of the class the static is the part of the class and not of the object so what does this mean whenever we are defining a method or a variable as static then that is shared among all the objects of the class so all the objects can use the particular static method or static variables it means a single thing can be accessed by many objects in the same class so this static is the part of a class so to access a static method or variable we need not to create a new object to call the method or to access the variable the static is used in the case where we need to define variables or methods which are common to all objects of the class suppose we need to have something common within the class for all the objects then we need to define it as a static method or a static variable so for the effective logic of the program for example in a class suppose there are n number of students and for each and every student there is a field name school name so we need not to define again and again for each and every student the school name so for that we need to assign the 
school name variable as static so that for each and every student the school name will be settled automatically so for that we need to define such kind of variables as static or such kind of methods as static so this is all about static methods and variables now coming on to the last part that is what is the output of this following java program so in the code you can find there is a class sop public static void main we are having a simple logic only over here system.out.println 30 plus 50 plus sop enclosed within double quotes and the another statement is system.out.println sop enclosed within double quotes plus 30 plus 50 so for the first print statement the output will be 30 plus 50 that is 80 and that will be concatenated with the sop string so the output will be 80 sop but for the second statement there comes first the string then comes the integer or whatever so after string whatever let it be coming all will be treated as string so sop that will be concatenated with 30 and 30 will be concatenated with 50 so the output will be sop 3050 so this is all about the output of this desired logic so this is all about access specifiers static variable and methods and the output for the desired code so in the next videos we will be discussing more about the interview questions so till then stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you